All right, before we get into the video, I'm going to talk to you guys about foottrading.co.uk, our trading site that's there to help you guys make millions of coins throughout FIFA 22. We've already got people in the Discord that are sitting well over 5 million TP with millions of coins on their account, basically building and trading and doing whatever they want on this game without spending their hard-earned money on FIFA points. So what do you get for your money? Tier 1, £10, gets you access to the low budget area across all platforms. You also get access to our trading areas for chem styles, that's anchors, hunters and shadows. And we just launched our icon area for you guys. Every single tradable icon is on there to help you guys trade with them and make millions. The access for Tier 2 includes fluctuations. This is an area of the site that is incredibly overpowered. It tracks the market 24 hours a day. It shows you the low point on cards the high point on cards, the average price that card has been at and gives you guys an ideal price that you guys can go and buy that card out and flip it on for pretty much guaranteed profit. We don't say it lightly when we say you guys will make millions of coins if you utilize it. If you've already subbed, make sure you join the Discord. If you're debating subbing, join the Discord as well. It's completely free and you can talk to website subscribers directly and ask them what they think about the site. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. I keep repeating it, but we are on now Project Fuzzball40K. We're looking to make 40,000 subscribers happen sooner rather than later. Support has been incredible on the videos up till now. I'm genuinely so grateful for it. Um, but yeah, once we do hit 40k, we'll be giving away an Xbox Series S or a PlayStation 5 Digital. I always want to give back to you guys. We've had unbelievable support on the website on the videos and the streams. So yeah, giving back to you guys is important to me. Make sure you subscribe down below. We're also going to be giving away a website subscription at every 1,000 subscribers we get. So we're nearly at 31k. So we'll be giving away a website subscription to one of you. If you're already subscribed, you'll get a free month. If you're not, you'll get a free month. Make sense? Good. Anyway, road to the knockout starts tomorrow. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever had a road to knockout. So I'm pretty sure it's usually road to the final, but I could be wrong on that. Um, but with a new promo, always brings opportunities to make coins. And there are so many different ways you can make coins depending on your budget. So we'll go over a few of those and give you guys some details about what you want to be doing. And we'll start at the lower end first. And the most important thing I can say to you at a lower end is club stock. So what is a club stock? Basically, you want to go and buy players, stick them in your club. Technically consumables as well, but who cares about those at the moment. You stick them in your club. Now, why would I suggest for you to go out and buy random players it's because we're likely to see some form of upgrade pack, some form of daily SBCs. And basically those players that you buy become usable as fodder for those SBCs. So I'd be going out right now if I were you guys and I'd be picking up as much as possible in terms of low end. We're talking low end fodder. So any, anything that's not too much of a, of a risk basically for those of you that don't have many coins. But gold commons you can still pick them up from major leagues at not far off discard price. And you can go and stick even just one of each of these in your club, okay? And then an SBC comes out, you can see these ones have just gone there. Um, an SBC comes out, let's say it's a daily SBC, and it might require players, I don't know, from La Liga. You'll see a spike in players from La Liga. Another daily SBC might come out, and it might require players in the Premier League, and you'll see a spike in players from the Premier League. Now, 400 coins might not be that achievable, but 450, 500, you shouldn't really find many problems picking up players. It shouldn't be difficult at all. And realistically, the risk in these is so low. Because you're buying them low enough anyway, and at some point they're going to be needed in terms of uh, uh, in terms of any SBC that comes out. But where you'll probably find the most joy is if we do get a half decent upgrade pack. EA have loved bringing out things like the 81 plus pick. Recently we've had the 78 plus upgrade. Yesterday the SBC for the rare election pack saw Premier League players spike quite heavily, and you can't really go wrong. I'd also think about doing sort of silver rares and gold rares because a lot of the times the SBC they will, it will require you to have X amount of rare players in there. Um, and if you've got some players in the Premier League, for example, there's loads here at pretty much discard price. Again, sticking one of every single one of these in your club will pay off at some point. Probably during this promo, if not in the next promo, but there will be a reason that these will go up. And even things like Erdegaard, he is like 82 rated. If we get a half decent player SBC, he's going to spike. He's going to go up in price because people will use him. All you're looking for is that one player SBC that a lot of people are going to do or that one daily SPC that everyone's going to do to see these players go up. It's a no-brainer. So club stock, whatever you can do. Following on from that, for those of you that have got a decent budget or got some decent coins, but you don't really trade normally, or you're not really sure how to trade, fodder is your best friend here, okay? We're going to get probably some live cards throughout this, um, this promo. We're probably going to get some extra bits and bobs that you can look at. Now, at the moment, you can pick up someone like an Acerbi for 850 coins. It's an 83 rated. 
if you haven't got time to trade this weekend, if you haven't got time to do anything really on this game, or you just don't really want to trade in, in detail, this is the perfect way that you will learn how demand and supply will affect player prices. So at the moment, there is no demand at all for 83 rated, 84 rated. For fodder in general, there's very little demand for it. So these are holding quite low. At some point, EA are going to bring out an SBC or something that requires fodder that is going to see it spike. It will not stay at this level. Why will it not stay at this level? Because it's not worth opening packs up while prices are so low. EA will know that. They will know it is not worth your time for you to go and think, oh, I'm going to open up 12,000 FIFA points worth of packs. It's pointless at the moment when the only players that are worth anything are the high, high-end stuff and this low-end stuff, the fodder, is worth nothing. They will want to get fodder prices up because it will encourage people to spend money on the game. So you can go out and buy 83 rated, 84 rated fodder and all you've got to go and do is type in um, cheapest player by rating on foot on FIFA and footbin comes up with it, footwards comes up with prices for them to show you which ones are cheapest but you can buy players from the major leagues for not far off discard price. It really, it's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer. If you're not going to be consistently trading over the course of this weekend, the next few days, do it. I cannot stress it enough. It's so, so simplistic. I've had some questions from people. First thing to avoid is out-of-pack players. I cannot stress this enough to you. It has not worked so far this year, and everyone does it all the time. Daniel Marlin, for example, and this was him. This is his price when he was um, about to go out of packs for ones to watch, and he just plummeted. It's become such a well-known thing now that players are supposed to rise out of packs that very few actually do it. Now, that's not saying no, none, they all do that, those random, like, 81, 82 rated non-rare golds can do perfectly fine on it. But do I think at a low end this is worth your time? No, just go club stock instead. Don't go and put coins into this. I, I just don't really see why you'd bother personally. It, it, to, to me, it just, it's, a, it's, it's pointless. It's completely likely pointless. If you're at a low end, what I would be doing personally is looking at things like the club stock, looking at fodder, looking at those things that are just so low anyway, you can't really go wrong at all. Mid-tier. What are we going to see in terms of the, the, the sort of promo? We're likely going to see SBC players, okay? We're likely going to see objective players. Objective players are the key as well. Objective players, everyone can go and do. Whether you've got coins on your account or not, everyone can go out and do whatever objective player drops on the game, okay? So whatever we get here, it might be, I don't know, Road to the Final, I don't know who's going to be there, Emerson Royale, Road to the Knockout Stages, Emerson Royale. Something like that, okay? Everyone can go and do that. Look to links with those players, Look to links. And it's not just in the short term, in the long term. Say we do get an Emerson from, from Tottenham as a right back. You may well go, okay, cool. Well, that Romero inform could do quite well. So you, I won't go and buy him now. But come Sunday, when everyone's opened up their foot, their foot champs rewards and their team of week packs, that could be a great buy point for him. Because it'll then rise as a Lincoln to Romero and people, and to, uh, Emerson, Royale, sorry. Um, Romero and Emerson, Lincoln. It's not a bad shout. Those are the sort of things that I would look for at mid-tier. Really at mid-tier. I'd be like, okay, cool. That, that's where my coins are going to be placed. I'd be looking at SBCs and potential links to SBCs. We've seen it quite consistently in the past that links, let's say theoretically you've got a Varane, a link into him, a half-decent link into him, like Pogba might rise because people go, okay, cool, I'm going to do that Varane and SBC. We're not going to get a Varane SBC, but I'm going to do that Varane SBC and it'll link to Pogba. Those things can do well, but always bear in mind, if the SBC is like a 100k SBC and it's a decent player... People don't always link ridiculously good cards to those. It, you have to balance out the price. If the card is a decent price, whether it be an SBC, whether it be an objective, or even a player from the promo. If there's a player from the promo at 600k, don't link him to a 700 coin left back. It's not going to happen. But they might link him to a next level left back. Let's say, theoretically, we've got Eder Militao, for example. People may well link him to Mendy and it may cause Mendy's price to rise. And it's just things that I'd be mindful of. If we've got Mendy, it might cause Militao's price to rise. Those are things that you want to be want to be looking at. Team of the Weeks themselves as well. We're going to get some promo packs. We're going to get a lot of supply this weekend. I talked about earlier in the week, but I really like Sunday as a buy point. So throughout the next few days, we're going to get promo packs on, at 6pm. They're going to keep coming. But we're also going to get right, uh, so weekend league rewards coming. Okay, So weekend league rewards will come on the Friday, Saturday and Sunday, whenever people finish it. And what we saw last week was Team of the Weeks hold very, very low before rising. I put that in the video, was it yesterday or the day before? Rising exponentially once they're out of packs especially. Your buy point, I like Sunday as a buy point. Now there's no guarantee there, but I personally, I'm going to be doing that. On Sunday, looking at the players that have been packed consistently over the course of the weekend and the team of week packs that people get and my buy point will be Sunday into Monday and I'll buy and hold and hope the rise comes in the next couple of days after that. That's what we've seen so far. Promo packs probably bring the market down even lower, especially if you get better promo packs. The market might hold down even lower, even lower. 
So I'd be mindful of that. And when it comes to buying those players, make sure that you think, okay, cool, is this the right play for me? Are they low enough? Someone like Gavardio, for example, I don't know where he's at at the moment, um, but I bought it to a couple yesterday. He rose a little bit and then I saw him drop off. So I got out and I was like, nah, we're not going to keep him. Um, but this player, for example, is an infinitely usable um, Bundesliga centre-back. And he's holding quite low as it is. I mean, he's what at the moment? 38,000 at the moment you can get him for? He's holding quite low. He's 81 rated. He's going to be packed left, right and centre this weekend league and the promo packs. It would not surprise me if he gets sub 20k. It would not surprise me one bit. I'd like that as a buy on him. I really would like that as a buy on him. So for me, I'll be looking at cards like him. I'll be looking at cards like Rafinha. Those sort of cards that I know. We've seen Malang Sar hold 50k, basically. If Rafinha gets down and gets down to that level, I'm like, okay, cool. He's Brazilian. He's Premier League. He'll link quite well. It's not too bad. All right. Hi, tier guys. I would be looking at icons. These have been the most consistent way to make coins at the moment. And we've seen them get extremely high in the last week or so. They are flying. Absolutely flying. Um... So, for example, Makaleli, I saw one earlier in the week for 535. He's now for 592. They are, they're going through the roof at the moment. But come 6 p.m., promo packs opened up, and throughout Weekend League, they will drop and they'll get hit. Um, and that is, those of you who've got a lot of coins, that's a really, really good place for you guys to be looking. I really would be looking quite strongly at icons. Um, they've probably been the most consistent purely because with the ones to watch, there was a few decent cards, but nothing incredible. I genuinely think that a lot of icons this year represent links to people and they are the, the levels card this year because a lot of the lower tier cards don't really have a value. It's kept icon prices up. It's kept the higher tier prices up um, and there's not been a flood of them onto the market. So I would I would 100% look at icons. If you're a website subscriber, check out the, the icon area. It's a no-brainer. Whatever you do, check that out. Um, it's simplistic as that. If you're not, just keep an eye on them. Choose five or six icons that are within your price range on Footwiz and just look for them. Look for their highs, look for their lows. And you'll know the lows are roughly the areas of buy at and you'll know the highs are roughly the areas you're going to sell at. It's as simple as that. But that's what you've got to be looking for. I brought the video up today. It gives you 24 hours really to look at it in detail to see what you want to be doing. It's very simplistic. It's very, very easy to make coins so long as you follow these tips. But if you're new around here, subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you don't ever miss an upload. Project Fuzzball 40k continues. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.